Hey everybody, welcome back to Cinematically Late. It is another Thursday, which means you are back here on the Aaron Waller YouTube channel to talk about a movie that we haven't talked about yet. So today we're talking about the 2019, or I guess 2020 was the year that it won, Best Picture and Best Director winner, Parasite. Now the director was Bong Joon-ho, and let's go ahead and get into the video right now. So Parasite is a Korean film, as I mentioned, directed by Bong Joon-ho. He's directed a lot of great movies, including um, Snowpiercer. Okja was, was kind of big miss for me. Um, he directed a lot of really great movies um, that are very impactful, have a message. This one does as well, but it adds a lot of different layers that I think that he hasn't really done before in terms of storytelling, suspense. Everything about this movie is great. And it's very justified why it won not only Best Picture and Best Director, but a total of four Oscars. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it with point number one. And that is going to be that this is just a beautiful and yet tragic movie. I think when you think about theater in terms of the arts, when you see those masks, the comedy and the tragedy, this is probably one of the most perfect examples of the two working together in such a beautiful and elegant way. And it's just so much fun. It's a tragic story of a sort of a poor family with a parallel of a rich family. Um, and they're like working together. The poor family's working for the rich family. It's sad, but the way that they integrate, the little schemes that they're working on, the ways that they're able to, in a way, very much like a parasite, infect this family and get into their home in various aspects. It's just amazing like I love the story overall it didn't really have like this big action element although there was a massive twist which I'll get to in just a second which I totally didn't even see coming I really knew nothing about this movie except that it was a best picture winner uh, which was means I had to see it and hands down this was probably one of my favorite movies of 2019 I understand why it was so buzzed and it just makes so much sense after you watch it and to piggyback off of that into point number two this was actually an unexpected movie. I didn't expect anything out of this movie. I didn't watch any of the trailers for it. The only thing that I knew was that it was a Best Picture winner, Best Director, massive Oscar winner. Uh, I knew Bong Joon-ho from Snowpiercer and Okja, as I mentioned before. So I knew a little bit of his, his work, but it was kind of hit and miss. But this one was absolutely mind-blowing, totally astounding, blew everything he's done out of the water. I think he always has such a fascinating story to tell, but this one in particular was fascinating from start to finish, and you just can see the love that was put into this. It looks so subtle, but it's so beautiful to look at in every minute detail, even to when they're in the dirtiest and grimiest of places. It's just awe-inspiring. It's just visually just, just mind-blowing in every possible way. And going back, which leads me into point number three, is that the acting in this movie. It was subtle. It was brilliant. It was fantastic in every possible way. The cast is great. They do their roles in such an amazing manner that you believe, I believed, that this was a real family going through real struggles and even the family that was rich. I felt like this was a real family as well that just had this sort of pampered life that never really saw the other side of things and were very much negligent or not, that's probably not the best word but just like they didn't understand um there's a beautiful metaphor and there's been a thousand reviews that have talked about this movie obviously this will probably get buried but the point about it about like this rainstorm where the rich family sees that this beautiful thing that's going to be able to clear out like the smog of the city but the poor family the main characters they live in essentially a basement, and it gets flooded because of this rainstorm. So it's beautiful but tragic, and that's what kind of piggybacks and uh, references back to point number one. But the acting and the way that these characters are sold to us, they feel like genuine people in a real world. It doesn't feel like overly fantastic, like that Snowpiercer, like that Okja where there's this giant pig, or like there's this world-ending tragedy uh, and every last being living being is on earth essentially is on a train going through a snowstorm type of thing so it felt very subtle but just something about that subtlety that made this such a massive phenomenon such a hit it's absolutely brilliant i loved every second of it and those actors really sold every little thing and made me believe this is a real people are going through this real struggle it would probably not be completely mind-blowing if i thought 
this is actually real events. Like that's how good this stuff was. And, the, and my last and final point that I'm gonna make in this video is that this is clearly worth the best picture. There are some and best director and whatever other awards it won. It won so many awards, not just in the Oscars, it won like the Cannes d'Ors or whatever that was, that fancy name that I don't understand. It deserves everything. I completely get it. I didn't watch this movie because of all the buzz around it, but when you watch this movie, you understand that buzz. Not like other films where maybe, like La La Land, for example, was a great movie. It didn't win the best picture, but it was really great movie that I enjoyed. I didn't expect a lot out of it, but it wasn't also my kind of movie. This isn't either, but it had a twist element, which if you guys know my videos, I absolutely love. Uh, it had so many great things for it that it oozes that it's worth it. And I love the fact that a Korean film, an essentially an independent Korean film, was able to win the Best Picture Award. It just monumentally gives oh, so much weight to a lot of international films which are very much not appreciated or even represented in a lot of worldwide cultures, especially in the US or things like that. So I love Parasite, highly recommend watching it. And even better, I ended up purchasing it because I loved it so much. But if you guys are interested in watching this movie, it is currently available on Hulu. If you have a Hulu subscription, you can watch this movie. Highly recommend checking it out, totally worth it. Um, if you wanna purchase it even, again, it's worth the money. And speaking of purchasing movies, um, I haven't had it out yet, at least of the recording of this video, but I will have it at some point because I'm gonna be recording it soon. Uh, and that's gonna be talking about how to get very affordable um, movie codes for like Voodoo, Movies Anywhere, things like that, that you can have a large collection of movies to watch during this quarantine if you don't wanna spend forever searching through um, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, what have you. You can have your favorites for affordable prices, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you aren't already for that video. If it's not out already, because I said it in the last Cinematically Late, um, if it's not out already, then it's probably going to be soon. I'm working on a couple of different things, tweaking things here and there, trying to make an amazing video for you guys, the viewers. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Like and comment on this video if you have seen Parasite. Uh, I want to know, do you love it as much as I do? Have you seen it? Is it as amazing as I just sold it to you? It is. Well, if you're watching this video, you probably know. If you have not watched Parasite, you probably have no idea. But go watch it anyway. Highly recommend it. Um, really, that's all I have. Also, make sure you're subscribed um, to my channel, obviously, uh, as there is a new cinematic late every single Thursday. So make sure you subscribe for that. I've got a bunch of other new videos. I've got a Justice League Dark Apocalypse War video. I've got uh, another cinematic late, the Jojo Rabbit that just came out last week. Um, I've got another one, which I'm not sure what it is right now, coming out next week. Uh, so make sure you subscribe for that. Um, also be sure to check in the description. I actually have a really cool thing um, where it's my Amazon affiliate links. You don't have to use them for whatever reason. It's essentially that if you wanna know what gear I'm using uh, to make these videos just in general, the lighting, uh, the background stuff, whatever it is, it's gonna be down there in the description. If you wanna see or find out how exactly I make these videos, it's all right down there. You can check it out, it's really easy. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's really all I have for this episode of Cinematic Late. A little bit longer, but it's warranted. Clearly, it's such an amazing movie. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.